Do you ever want to collaborate internally or externally, but they don't have a copy of your PNID program? Well, you're not alone. We know how to fix that. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Greg Steinick with CAD Partner, the makers of SMAP3D plant design software. Oftentimes our customers and prospects need to show their P&IDs with others in the organization, but they can't do it because whoever they need to communicate with doesn't have a seat of P&ID. What's so smart about that? Well, now you can. Let's ask Michael to show us how. Thanks, Greg. And that's another good question. Hi, my name's Michael Mooney. And what we want to look at today is stemming off of our previous conversation about intelligent PNIDs is how do we communicate and share that information uh, with other people. So while we can export to a DWG or a DXF, that still requires a program to read those types of files. I don't know many people these days that don't have a PDF reader on their machine. So this is a great way to be able to select what pages you want to share, what um, resolution levels and what information you want, um, what information that you may or may not want to include, depending on the audience you're going to be um, showing it to. So if we export this out, now you'll notice that I'm up here in Adobe Reader. And I have a 10 page PDF, my entire project, right with inside of um, Adobe, Adobe Reaver. Um, so what can we do here? Well, basically we can do everything that we can do with inside of SMAP 3D P and ID, except we can't make any changes. Okay, one of the uh, you know fundamental benefits of a PDF. So if I don't know what something is, again, I have all of that intelligent information from the P and ID. Okay, I have all of my links to different pages whenever a, uh, a pipeline goes from one page to another, um, the intelligence about it, as well as from my reports, my lists. Uh, if you're looking at one of these lists and you might say, oh, where's this ball valve? Okay, well, boom, it goes and it zooms in right to that area where you can find exactly these components. So this is an integral part of being able to communicate and collaborate your designs both internally or externally and not have to worry about whether a person has the software to be able to read it. So thanks for that question Greg and back over to you. Thanks Michael. So smart PDFs. Nice. I really like the way you could hover your mouse over components and see exactly what they are. If you have questions please reach out to us. Our number and our email will be at the end of this video. Thank you.